October the 4th, 1958, marked the passing of a milestone in the history of aviation, with the arrival at London Airport of a de Havilland Comet 4, inaugurating the first jet engine airline service across the Atlantic Ocean. Two great pioneers of the air bore witness to this historic event. 39 years earlier, they had made the first direct non-stop flight across the Atlantic. These two achievements, the first direct Atlantic flight by man, and the first transatlantic jet airliner service had one thing in common. Both aircraft were powered by British Rolls-Royce engines. Rolls-Royce is an international organization with its headquarters in Great Britain and with member companies in Canada, the United States of America, Brazil, Australia, Spain, France and the Far East. Also situated in Great Britain is Rolls-Royce and Associates Limited. The town of Derby, in the centre of England, is the headquarters of the company, which has three divisions. Motor car, oil engine and aero engine. The aero engine division has numerous factories at Derby, Hutnell, Barnoldswick and in the Glasgow area at Hillington, East Kilbride and elsewhere. All engaged in aero engine development or production. engine division has a wider range of turbine engines in worldwide service than any other manufacturer. Known as the River Series, the range includes the well-known and well-tried Dart prop jet. This was introduced into airline service in 1953 to power the internationally popular Vickers Viscount and was the first prop jet to enter airline service. By the beginning of 1965, Dart engines had logged over 30 million hours on the air routes of six continents, powering a wide range of transport aircraft. These include the Hawker Sidley Argosy, the Dutch American Fokker Fairchild F-27, the American Grumman Gulfstream, the Handy Page Herald, the Hawker Sidley 748, and the Japanese Namco YS-11. Darts also power the Hawker Sidley Andover military transport and have been ordered to re-engine American Convair piston-engined airliners. The Tyne, a very advanced prop jet engine, is in the 5 to 7,000 horsepower class and was designed to achieve exceptionally low fuel consumption. Tynes power a range of civil and military aircraft the Vickers Vanguard, the Canadair 44, the Breguet Atlantic for NATO, the Short Belfast, and the Franco-German Transall C-160. 
The well-known Avon engine is a turbojet, which has been developed for both military and civil use. Military versions of the Avon have been selected by the armed forces of 19 countries. The civil version powers various marks of the Hawker Sidley Comet and the French Sud Aviation Caravelle, the first jet airliner with rear-mounted engines, which is in service with, or on order for, 22 airlines. The Conway, the first bypass engine to enter service, is an example of the company's success in breaking into the American aero engine market. The development of the Conway proved the bypass or turbofan principle, now accepted as the correct formula for all high-speed jet transports. Conways power American-built Boeing 707s and Douglas DC-8s in service with nine international airlines. And the latest versions of the engine power the new Vickers VC-10 and Super VC-10. The Spey engine is the latest of the company's bypass jets, or fan jets as these engines are often known. It powers the Hawker Sidley Trident airliner and the new BAC-111 jet successor to the Viscount, which entered service in 1965 with airlines in Europe, America and Africa. The Spey Junior powers the Fokker F-28 Fellowship and the military Spey has been selected for evaluation in the McDonnell Phantom II fighter for the Royal Navy. The latest version of the Hawker Sidley Buccaneer, the S-2, is a multi-purpose low-level strike aircraft for the Royal Navy. Powered by two military Spey bypass jets, the S-2 Buccaneer has a greater operational range because of the exceptionally low fuel consumption of the Spey under cruise conditions and increased power for takeoff, climb and acceleration, and for high speed during low-level attack missions under enemy radar screens. In addition to its range of aircraft turbine engines, the company also builds under license selected models from the continental range of light system engines. These power a wide variety of executive, private and light military aircraft. In addition to civil transport, many different types of military aircraft, in service with 36 armed forces in 30 countries, are equipped with the company's jet and prop jet engines. They range from the most powerful bombers to maritime strike and reconnaissance aircraft and the fastest supersonic fighters. Avon engines are now also being produced as industrial gas turbines for the pumping of natural gas, for electrical power generation and for a range of other industrial duties. In Canada, industrial Avons are used for gas pumping on the Trans-Canada pipeline and in Britain, they've been installed in power stations to provide emergency and peak load electrical power. 